I have this bar magnet with me, south pole is at the top, north pole is at the bottom and I have this magnetic compass. I want you to see how the needle of this compass moves as I move the compass down. Right now the north pole of the needle in red is attracted to the south pole of the magnet. Now as I move it down, the needle becomes straight and now the south pole of the needle is attracted to the north pole of the magnet. Now again if I move it up, the needle will move, it becomes it becomes straight and now the north pole of the needle is attracted to the south pole of the magnet. Now let's look at the earth. We know there is a north pole, there is a south pole. The top half of the earth, at least in this image, is called the northern hemisphere and the bottom half is called the southern hemisphere. And explorers observed that when there is a compass in the northern hemisphere, in the top half you can say, the north pole of the magnetic needle in the magnetic compass it always pointed towards the north pole and when that magnetic compass was in between the two hemispheres or you can say in the center of the earth the needle was more or less straight and when the compass was in the southern hemisphere or you can say the bottom half the south pole of the magnetic needle in the compass it pointed towards the south pole of the earth but we just saw this is the same way how the needle of a magnetic compass moves when we move it along a bar magnet. So does that mean that earth also behaves like a magnet? Well, it turns out yes, it does behave like a magnet. I know that sounds insane but it's true. And the magnetic south pole of the earth it lies near the north pole, the geographic north pole you can say. So magnetic south pole of the earth lies near the geographic north pole of the earth. And the magnetic north pole of the earth, it lies near the geographic south pole of the earth. It can be a little confusing, but you can understand it by looking at how the needle of the magnetic compass moves. In the top half, in the northern hemisphere, we can see the north pole directed towards the north pole, the geographic north pole. But we know that the north pole of, of a tiny magnet like a needle will always be attracted to the south pole of any other magnet. So the magnetic south pole should be near the north pole. And similarly the magnetic north pole should be near the geographic south pole. Now because we are trying to visualize how earth behaves like a magnet, we can also be slightly more accurate and say that the magnetic south pole of the earth does not directly lie on top of the geograph geographic north pole. In fact, it is slightly shifted like this. So just by shifting the magnetic north pole does not lie directly on the geographic south pole. Lastly, don't think that there is an actual magnet inside the earth, right? The, the reason why earth behaves like a magnet, it's a completely, there are completely different reasons to it. It's, it's not that there is a magnet like a huge magnet inside the earth. That's not the case. All right, let's, let's try and visualize this again. Now let's take a small piece of magnet. So I want you to observe how the small black magnet moves as I move it along the length of this long bar magnet that I've created. So this, this end right here is a south pole, this end right here is a north pole. And in between, you can imagine these two poles are cancelling each other. So this behaves like a long bar magnet. Now notice, notice how the tiny black magnet moves. So right now this end is being attracted to the south pole. And as I move it down, notice how it gets straight. And now the other end, the North Pole is attracted to the South Pole. Again, as I move it back, notice how it becomes straight. And again, the other end, the North Pole of the tiny magnet gets attracted to the South Pole of the big magnet. 